Well, tonight, Minnesota Congressman Keith Ellison is responding to ISIS threats against him and other high profile Muslims. A new list from the terror group names officials in the United States, United Kingdom, and other countries as potential targets, saying they should be killed for their work. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily has the congressman's response. Congressman Keith Ellison did not mince words in response to being included on a new kill list against Muslim Americans in ISIS's online magazine. The Minnesota Muslim doesn't refer to the group as ISIS, but instead Daesh, because he says they are not Islamic or a state. Quote, Daesh is a collection of liars, murderers, torturers, and rapists. No Muslim I know recognizes what they preach as all Islam. He went on to say, the fact that I'm on Daesh's bad side means I am fighting for things like justice, tolerance, and a more inclusive world. Global terrorism is something that is affecting everyone. The national director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, also from Minnesota, was not named but was pictured. Local executive director Jelani Hussein calls the two prominent figures of the American Muslim population. When you continue to challenge uh, those who try to hijack our faith, uh, we will come at the crossfire of their of their efforts. Today, the National Security Council briefed President Barack Obama about the latest in the fight against ISIS at CIA headquarters. He later reiterated the country's commitment to fight terror organizations. Their barbarism only stiffens our unity and determination to wipe this vile terrorist organization off the face of the earth. Now, just last month, 36 police officers from around Minnesota were the target of a so-called kill list. The list included personal contact information that likely came from a hacked website. Amelia. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.